Yes, uh, in short, yes. Uh, as I said earlier, all signatories to the, uh, uh, all parties to the Genocide Convention have an obligation to prevent. And the moment that they were put on notice by the court on the 26th of January of the plausibility of genocide taking place is the moment that based on the court's jurisprudence, they their their obligation to prevent is triggered. Now, to the extent that those third states uh, Canada and, and others, uh, the UK, France and others, Canada, the United States, do not take effective measures to prevent, they expose themselves to, to, to uh, possible cases brought by other states, including South Africa, but not exclusively to South mm -hmm. Africa. Other parties to the convention can bring claims against them before the court, basically saying that you, you failed in your duty to prevent. The Nicaraguans, for instance, have have now attempted to join, or rather to intervene in the South African matter uh, with Israel. That's just an example. So um, it is possible that you can have further litigation before the court. It, uh, you know, it would depend on the third state in question. Some of these states have sort of objected to the uh, uh, jurisdiction of the court uh, with declarations submitted before the court that predate the, the, the South African matter. But there are some states who are exposed. Um, that is that is a possibility. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.